Okay, this is I'm going to show a conversion of a uh, racing bucket uh, purchased online, converted into a desk chair. Um, I have a donor desk chair here I've had for several years, and I've decided to convert it into a racing bucket office chair. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take the wheel stand off of the donor chair and that's what's going to be transplanted onto the race bucket in order to convert it into a into an office chair. Now I have my uh, base detached from the old office chair and I'm going to unwrap the uh, racing bucket, flip it upside down and take a look at the bottom so that we can determine what adapter to make. I'm going to have to build a bracket to go across here, one to go across here, so that I can join this base to the bracket and bolt the bracket onto the bottom of the seat. In the past when I've done this, I've just used simple uh, steel angle iron. and. Typically, I would mount it in such a way that I could drill holes in the in the angle iron to mount it to the to the chair, and then drill holes in the angle iron to mount the the base. So it looks like this base is going to line up pretty well. I think a similar thing can be accomplished by creating an adapter from a piece of plywood. If I take these pieces of uh, angle iron off, you see if you have a piece of wood, you can easily cut it to the right size, drill your holes to mount the piece of wood to the, to the bottom of the chair, uh, to the racing bucket, and then you can place your seat wherever you need it to be, mark the holes. I would probably use some, some lag screws to screw the, the base down to the piece of wood. You have your the mounting points here to the chair, cut off your excess. You can paint the piece of plywood black and this would give you a quick and easy option that would uh, not require steel. Here I'm marking the steel where I can cut off the excess. I'm also marking the holes that need to be drilled in order to mount the angled steel uh, to the bottom of the chair. Uh, I will use a uh, cutoff wheel on an angle grinder to cut off the excess and I will use a step drill to drill the holes uh, for the mounting screws. After cutting off the excess, I do cut the corners off and kind of smooth them out so that there's no sharp edges underneath the base of the chair.
Here I'm going to test fit the uh, newly cut and drilled rails to the bottom of the, the seat. And I'm going to put the base on so that I can uh, mark the holes uh, to drill to attach the base uh, to the rails. Okay. Now the rails are bolted securely to the bottom of the, of the race bucket. Positioned well. You want it centered, and you want enough bite on both angle brackets to provide a secure connection. Double check center here. It's about 16 inches. So I mark center of the angle, I mark center of the base, do the same thing on this side, it's like 16 inches on center, this would be the center of the base, this is 7 inches, so 3 and a half inches, pretty much on the center where it says front. Holes where the base is. I can drill out those holes and then I can mount the, uh, the chair to the bracket. All right, I finished up the, uh, the rails. I uh, went ahead and drilled out the holes for mounting the uh, seat base and I tack welded the uh, nuts on the, on the back side uh, and I threw a coat of paint on it so it won't, won't rust and you won't really see it blending into the bottom of the, uh, of the chair. All nice and snug. That's basically it. And there it is. Fully functional.
made out of a racing bucket. Hope you liked the video, subscribe, yada yada.